I'm Zachary Vader. I'm the co-founder of Vader Systems, which is a uh, 3D metal printing startup um, uh, located in Buffalo, New York. We are working on a, a liquid metal jet printer. Roughly, uh, we're using magnetohydrodynamics, uh, so it's uh, magnetic propulsion of, of liquid metal through electromagnetics. It, it works more similarly to an inkjet in terms of um, we would do uh, high-speed droplet formation in, in the range of 1,000 hertz to 10,000 hertz. That's 1,000 times a second to 10,000 times a second. Um, so just like an, an inkjet does. Versus the FDM plastic printers where they lay down a, a bead, a strip of continuous plastic. Currently, the, the more, um, more well-known technologies are SLS, that's uh, Selective Laser Sintering. Uh, which is you use a, um, a laser beam to melt powdered metal and then you add more powder, melt it again, so that builds up your, your part. The advantages of uh, liquid metal are we don't have the porosity of uh, powder. With, with powdered metal, um, you have different sizes of granules, so when you melt it together, it creates more of a, a spongy substance. So you have uh, problems with density and ductility, so stretching of the metal. Um, with liquid metal, we can um, have 100% metal density because it's fully fused, fully solid metal, and our, uh, our, our strength properties in uh, previous research that was done in uh, 1997 by uh, Dr. Priest, they were the first ones to do liquid metal jet. They, uh, their microstructures revealed that they had 30% higher ultimate yield strength than uh, cast parts. But more importantly, what we can do is we don't use powder, so you can do uh, voided parts. You can have internal support structures or hollow walls. This allows you to make parts lighter, with less metal, with a lot of stiffness that you can't do with powder, or traditional manufacturing processes. Well, you, what you could do that would be even cooler than a gear is you could do a gear that is hollow inside that has specific support structures for the direction of torque. So it can be very, very light and very, very low material cost, but do the job extremely well. Uh, currently we are only focusing on aluminum, but um, we will be adding more metals later. Uh, metals with similar properties to aluminum like, like copper and zinc will be pretty easy to add. Uh, I did a year of college um, for this idea and I really wanted to pursue this with all of my attention. Basically it was we, we were unable to make a uh, complex part. Um, with traditional manufacturing without it costing too much. So we uh, wanted to make our own printer. Um, and the current technologies we felt uh, had, uh, had limitations that would prevent it from wide-scale adoption and, 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 and true manufacturing potential. Right now it's a prototype. Our initial idea was to get it below $10,000. Uh, since we were unable to do that, um, we've decided to switch focus to uh, small businesses and uh, small commercial. So we're, we're probably going to be um, over 10, under 50. In about a year, we're hoping that we will be able to produce an under $10,000 variant for the home use.